M0 FXB. Welcome to my channel. You can see we've got the T199 here that you program using Visor in this case. You can use Total Control, but on a Mac, it looks like Visor is your best option. So download Visor in the normal way. And you know with a Mac, you have a system where you have to drag the file. So you download, then you swipe it across. Look, Visor goes into Applications. It's new to me, but you do that with pretty much everything you download. You, it's, it's quite straightforward. I don't know why they've added that extra step, why they couldn't sort of automate that, but they haven't. So once you've done that, you connect, and I'm connected via a micro USB cable to the T19 on the side here. So I, I, I really think the T199s are fun. Not easy, but fun. But they're easy once you've programmed them. Then it's just turn the knob, you get 16 channels, and I've got my Zello channels here and the new one added, and I'm controlling, you know, this radio right now using the, on the left here, that is effectively the screen of the radio that you would see if you had a, a, a screen and network radio. So once you connect it all, uh, you do need to enable USB debugger. Now that will be automatically enabled on your Enrico. Never, never disable that because that will definitely cause you a problem um, if you do that with a screenless radio. Uh, so you just leave that alone. Once you've got it, and then connect the connect the once you've connected the radio to the Mac PC that we're on now, and the Mac we're on is have a quick look. It's an old one, 2015, running 12.6.5 Monterey. Once you've done that, this window will appear, and you know if you're connected because it will download the app to your Android device automatically, which is quite cool. Watching that all happen. Um, and when, once you've done that, then you it will show up now. The T199 shows up as a Soten XL01A, so I'm guessing that's an old Android phone or something. Click play, and then it, it connects, yeah? And then you get this window here. And once you're in this window, you can pretty much do what you like. The only thing that's a bit unusual is when you type anything. So let's say we rename a channel here. And we go down, we want to rename it. When you type anything... Yeah, double click here to type and you start to type. I just put one letter in there. Backspace. Oh, on the Mac, it's not doing it. <laughs> That's good then. That's better. So it comes up with a new window at the top and you just hit enter. It's the same thing, but you just hit enter. So I'm not going to make any, any change. Oh, no, I haven't done that wrong. Hopefully I haven't done it. So let's uh, try and back out without actually changing that. I don't want to change that channel name. The naming of the channels is crucial and I'll show you why in a minute. Rename. Oh, it has, it has gone. Well, let's show it you now then. So, for example, if I go done a minute, that is channel zero, and but we want it to appear on the one position here, the one position, because you've got 16 positions here, and as you turn, they call out. So if we're going to do what thing is on network radios, zero, zero, you want it to appear on number one. So you just go like so, uh, rename channel, and then you type, so I can hold this, Zero 01, so then it'll, it'll say that it's on zero 01 and it will be on zero 01 position here. You've got the positions. Then you put a comma, but it's actually NR for network radios. Let's do caps. NR, I was doing caps. NR space uh, zero zero. And we'll click done. Hopefully that, and then we'll try and show you it doing that. We'll click done. It's there. If we go back, you can see all the channels. Oh, actually, I should have put in the word, I should have typed in the actual name zero rather than putting in zeros. Let's do that now. So double click. And you've got to do this with all the channels. <laughs> I'll show you the other names of the channels so you know. Uh, rename, and then let's just go like that. And we're going to put the word in zero. Okay, that's in. If we can type. So it's a bit awkward doing it one-handed. So done. Back out, and that's already saved. Now, if I turn the channel, let's turn it up. Oh no! Oh 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 six oh 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 three n r oh oh one n r zero. Do you hear that? Oh one n r zero. Next one. Oh two n r one. And that's what the radio looks like. It's a lovely looking set. They're about. You've got. You can buy them refurbished for about £75. 
Uh, they're great fun because you just once they're programmed, you just turn them on and do what I'm doing now. So let's do that a bit more. O three N R O four N R three O five N R four O seven N R six O eight events O nine G B seven A B. And I put that one as well because that's uh, C Q U K's channel and it's quite active. And we can, you know we can transmit. We can we can even click on the screen. And this channel's for ham radio operators and with the mouse and, and key as well. So I uh, thought I'd show you that. I'll put the links in to download Visor here. You've got an idea how to do this. Put a link in Bazello and the Network Radios channel group. I'll show you that. There you are, G1YPQ's Network Radios. And if you close that and to add the channels, you need to search channel names. I will show you how to do that. Click on here. You've got all the channel names that you can search for above here. Network Space Radios channel. Or you can use these QR codes if you can get a camera in. But I don't know if you can with this. So let's minimize that. So minimizing on Apple, you hit the little green thing there. Look, it's, it's definitely different. You've got, and then once you've minimized, then you can, or made it smaller with the green. Yeah, that's the way it works. Smaller with the green, then you can do the flat line. Anyway, back to Zello. And um, what are we gonna show you? Go back one, arrow here, or escape. There's your channels. To add a channel, at the bottom here, you've got a blue circle. Click plus, and then find channel. And then you're gonna type in exactly those, those names. If you've got a, a radio with a, a, a Zello type radio, and it's got a, you know, a camera, then you can just scan these QR codes. That's the easy way. If you haven't and you have to type like we do here, that's fine, just type what's above, and then click search and it will add it. And that's it, then escape, escape. Make lots of friends using network radios. It's, this is a channel that is welcome to all radio enthusiasts, not just ham operators. There you go. And that's coming out of my, my, my network radio here. There you are, it's a bit dark in here, but. Enrico T199 has a, you can charge it from the bottom as well and then computer connecting there. And it will actually, I'm pretty sure I can do this wirelessly, but I have to Sorry, set it, man, I have to set it up. Uh, I'll unplug it. Yeah, it's disconnected, but there is a way of connecting wirelessly. But I, I haven't worked out how to do that. But thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, all the best.